Are you ready? Hi, Johnny Slater here. I'm about to tell you about my new pond I'm building. First of all, you got to see the patio we're putting in. And this is being done by professionals. But what I wanted to show you with the patio as we put it in is underneath I ran my sump. My sump going from my basement is this line right here. And you can see the line down the hole. I'm going to run that line into my big tank that I'm going to bury here. And inside that tank will have my pump, which will pump the water up to a pond here and a waterfall. Now over here, it's going to come out like this and be out in this shape. And over here you can see this is called a jiffy filter. And if you come close over here, don't mind these old socks, you can see I filled it full of sponges. Now this is an old tank because I had a pond previously at a different place and I was able to get it back. So I cut a hole in here. I pump the water into here, into this device over here. This device here, I will pump the water in and it will swirl the water in each direction inside this tank. And there's like 200 sponges in there. And the sponges, the water will percolate up through the sponges and come out that hole. And what I have a diffuser at that hole. And what that will do, so I'll bury this over on this side, and this will create the waterfall going down into the pond. So if you stay tuned, I'll be able to show you more footage as I start digging in the next day or so. I'm looking forward to uh, getting a little digger machine, a little Kubota, and I'm going to dig all this out four or five feet down and create my pond. Stay tuned. Cool. Hello. Welcome back to part two of my pond construction. Now I'm going to show you that the, as you can see the patio is finished now, or at least finished to the point where all the cement is uh, poured. Now I'm ready to start digging for the pond itself. I'm going to show you how I marked it out with rope here. So this rope signifies where I will dig for the pond itself. The intake or the pump will go in a tank right there. And what I've done there is hook, hopefully going to hook up my uh, sump pump to that so that the sump pump, any extra water coming from the sump will provide a fresh water source for the pond itself. You can see the rope around the edge of the patio. What I'm going to do there is put a, a foot that liner will go under there and cover that with river stone so that there will be a river stone sort of a barrier between the patio and the pond itself. The pond, how you determine the pond size is you take twice the depth plus the width and you add a foot on each side. And the same for the, day, uh, for the length, uh, the liner that you require. You take twice the depth, the length itself, add a foot on each side. Over here you'll see where I have my tank. This is where I will have a waterfall. This tank will be back a little bit. The water will go through this tank as I showed in part one out of the tank into a diffuser and create a waterfall. You see I started to acquire rocks and these rocks will make up part of the waterfall. This is what I'm going to dig with, a little Kubota. Hopefully I've mastered it the last few days practicing on a vacant lot. It's quite easy to use but it's um, delicate. So I have to be careful. I'm getting awful close to my septic tank. I'm getting close to my patio and I'm getting close to, my, of course, my garage, my house. So you have to be really careful operating this. Hopefully I won't have any mistakes and hopefully the vision will come true as I have planned. The only uh, problems I can foresee are to hook up that tank to the uh, sump pump. And that's where my pump itself will go, pump the water around through a line into this tank, out into the waterfall. So stay tuned for part three and you'll see how it goes. Cool.
Okay, this is a shot to show my dock that I made. As you can see, uh, the post here, I'm gonna sit on the bottom of the liner. I got some post uh, covers coming and they will sit on the bottom of the liner and cover up the tank. Now I'm gonna show you here how I built this with a little door. And the purpose of the little door on this hinge, as you can see as I open, is to give me access to clean out the tank and to check on the pump, etc. So this little door will allow me to go on it. Now I'm gonna go over here and show you what I'm doing with all this carpet. So what I did is I put it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm looking for some pieces of carpet. And uh, I got all kinds of donations of carpet. People want to get rid of some. And what you can see I'm doing here is I'm basically carpeting the bottom of the pond. And that dock is going to sit over top of that tank over there. And as you can see from here, I'm almost ready to bury the big tank, the waterfall tank, with the biofilter in. And you can see uh, I've now added the bacteria to it. Should be good for 20 some years just to sit in there buried and grow plants on top of it, etc. And uh, I'm almost ready to finish laying the carpet here. As you can see, I made a little indentation all the way around the pond where it will fill with river rock, but the liner's got to come over that indentation. And I will put river rock in it to hold it. And as you can see, the tank where the dock will go. The deep part of the pond is there and the waterfall over here. So far so good. Now I'll continue to lay the carpet. Okay, my pond is coming along and you can see now I've uh, started to prepare the landscaping. You can see where it's going to take shape. Dock all finished. I finished this sidewalk I built along the side. I want to show you. I installed some deck lights <coughs> along the side of that. There's the bubbler, and uh, I've also hooked up the ease trough to run underneath the sidewalk here and come down. And over here on this side, I'll show you inside my tank here. Not a tank, but my uh, compressor box I use for my workshop. I run my bubbler machine and the electricity for the pond. So the pump will run off that, the bubbler machine will run off that, and the lights will run off that. And this is a nice waterproof box of work. And you can see I've started. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a lesson I learned in my pond with regard to the tank and the uh, Jiffy filter system. I have a 5,000 gallon per hour pump coming out of my, my uh, dock over there underneath my, my uh, pump hold device, I guess you'd call it. Uh, small tank. Anyway, it's being pumped 25 feet over here under the thing and into this uh, Jiffy filter. And what happened is the intake is pumping it in in a two inch hose up to this pipe down here with a drop into my Jiffy filter and I had a three inch outtake. And I learned something because I'm not an engineer that a two inch intake with a 5,000 gallon per hour pump will not accommodate this in the sense that uh, too much water will go into the tank and it was overflowing over the top as opposed to going into the outtake. So what I'm doing today is I'm installing another outtake here you can see. I'm going to install another outtake and what that will do hopefully is uh, with the two outtakes I'm hoping it will accommodate that much water and be able to handle the pressure coming in. Stay tuned. Okay, this is a uh, final shot in my pond here. It's finally done. As you can see the light, if you come a little closer here, you can see the light. And you see that the uh, some beautiful light around the waterfall. And you see the pond, I've got some lights inside the pond. And if you right here, carried underneath and it provides the light for the waterfall. The other light, and there's uh, solar-powered lights along the dock. 
and some solar powered lights on the dock itself here that will be going on pretty soon. It's just too uh, bright out there. But as you can see, it's all finished. Everything is working, the waterfall is working, everything is finished.